What is up, Pyromaniacs? Prowl Stasis here. We are back in the world of Ant- As I just completely screw that up. Let's restart that. What's up, Pyromaniacs? Prowl Stasis here. We're back in the world of Dungeon of the Endless. And I finally got my intro right. Somebody give me a high five. No? All of you just gonna leave me hanging? Wow, you guys are a bunch of dicks. All right, so uh, I played... Oh, fuck, I don't know. Several games uh, since we got... Or since the last... Uh, this was This was our last run. I did this earlier, well, I guess I wouldn't say earlier, but recently. Um, you can see I've, I've tried 13 times. We have yet to get out of here. We have yet to get out of here. So uh, our goal, come hell or high water, is to try and beat this. Uh, you can see I've got just about everyone discovered, uh, missing one person, and I've got most everybody unlocked. Uh, we're missing uh, just a few, but we're, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. So we're going to go ahead and do random again. I kind of like randoming. Keeps me from having to make hard decisions. <laughs> I'll save that for later in the game. Uh, it, it just, it just, it's just easier that way. It's just easier that way. All right, so we have... Oh, wow. Wow, this is crazy. Okay, so this guy right here. Uh, Skroig, a light, quick, and deadly forger. Skroig has a problem... Has a problem which it is completely unaware. It should have been born a rackish nobleman in the area of musketeers, usually deeper and witty for an insectoid carrion eater, always well dressed and with a delicate palate. Scrog's wit, sophistication, and air, elegant use of blade are completely wasted on its peers. Uh, and this one right here is the one that thinks she's a spider. So, oddly enough, these two characters, uh, they have a storyline together. You can see right here the bugs versus bu bug versus bug eater. So, he's a bug. And she eats bugs. And I guess he eats technically humans, which is... I don't even know why we're covering this. It's kind of silly. But anyways, it's kind of interesting that I got these two because they technically lead to a storyline. Uh, I don't know what uh, unlocking storylines even does, if anything. But it is kind of interesting that just by the luck of draw, I ended up getting those guys. I, I found it a little interesting. So we're going to go ahead and drop down a, um, a industry module here. Go ahead and claim this floor, and we're just going to keep right on moving. Now, I'm going to be trying up a few different tactics this time. Uh, last couple times I've played, I haven't really focused on defensive or offensive modules. I've mainly just uh, tried to just kind of push through the game and do what I can do. We're going to try and utilize some defenses this time a little bit more and see if, uh, if that helps us at all. I'm not sure if it will, but we are going to try. So we got a merchant here unlocked. Um... I think both of these guys... Okay, she's a spear, and she just she just uses her bare hands, I guess. Uh, we don't have a spear here. We don't really have anything other than dehydrated water. Now, dehydrated water is one of the good abilities, from what I understand. Uh, this one allows you extenders, which I don't know what does. I've heard you put that on before you heal, but I, I don't know why. I don't know why. So, I was... I was Reading the forums a little bit, trying to find some tips and tricks, see if I can't find uh, any tasty tidbits of information that might help me uh, not suck as much. And unfortunately, haven't found anything uh, too glare. Whoa, what the heck is going on? It's like my mouse was stuck, in, st stuck in, sticking. Uh, all right, we're going to drop another industry generator here. I just feel, I feel that's a good call for us. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and bust this door open here. We're about to be out of dust, so we're going to start having problems with uh, keeping rooms lit, unless we get really lucky here. Uh, I'm going to use the spider girl to open this door, and then we'll have her fall back. There we go. Anything? No? Alright, we'll light that up. We'll move everybody into here. Uh, what do we have on the research? We have suppressive field, claymore mine. I like how claymore is spelled with more, M-O-A-R. I like that. Like that a lot. Uh, nothing good here. Nothing good here. We are going to go ahead and let this room double spawn if we get that lucky. So we'll go ahead and move both of our heroes into here and then we'll immediately move them back and we'll fight here. Just hoping to get a double spawn, but we'll take a single spawn. Damn, that dude attacks fast. Holy crap, dude. All right, let's light this one up and moving on. Uh, except we can put another module down. Uh, I think... I think we'll put food down. Just so we can get a few levels, maybe. Alright, onward. Moving on. What do we have in here? 
That's the exit. Uh, not seeing anything else all that spectacular. I'm gonna move him back here. We'll open this door and then we'll fall back. And fall back. Nothing? Okay. Give me some machine parts, please. Thank you much. Appreciate your generosity. All right. So we're going to run into some problems here, mainly the fact that they're going to just be coming straight down here. So we're going to just go ahead and place some stuffs down here. There we go. Those little prods should be able to hold this room fairly easily. Um, we'll go ahead and put a few more down here on the off chance that they manage to move through. And then we'll go ahead and head down here. That's going to give us a possibility of having up to, I think, four rooms spawn at once. I'm not sure if there is a... I've heard there is a maximum number of waves that you can get on a floor. I just don't know what that maximum is. It looks like three is the maximum. Do I need to fall back or are they going to be able to handle this? Uh, we'll hop in the room. Can't hurt. And bust those last two. There we go. Oh, she's getting low. That got a little close there. That got a little close. Probably should have backed out. That's fine. We're going to move them down again. Fighting monsters is going to be probably smarter uh, than I've been in, a, in previous episodes. Because we want to get monsters. Uh, pulling monsters gives us a chance to earn more dust. So it's a, it's a good thing to have. Right, we're going to fight them in here. I'm going to let them come into here all nice and weak, and then we're just going to clean them up. We'll let the lasers kind of soften them up for us. There we go. Come on now. All right, so Merchant, unfortunately, only seems to be interested in um, industry. I don't want to burn all my industry. I don't have enough to get this, and we've opened every single door in the area. So not much else we can do there. Um, we are going to unfortunately have to push straight up, so I'm going to block this out. We're going to light this up. It's going to only give us two room, well, one room to technically have to fight through. Uh, and then we are going to go ahead and put a few prisoner prods right here. And I would put them in here if I could. Uh, I guess technically I... No, I can't. Uh, we can't actually hit that room. It's no possible. Okay, so which one's our fastest character? Uh, we need somebody who's quick on their feet. That's 36, 43. Looks like you are the lucky dog. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and level you up one. 25 and 25. We'll see which gives more of a damage upgrade. Uh, you get to upgrade. Uh, still pretty good on the old speed. Uh, also, we just got our dust upgrade from her. That's good. That'll help out. Alright, we're gonna bring her down here. We're gonna have him hold course right here. We've got prisoner prods all the way up through. I may want to put a couple in here just to kind of take the edge off. I don't want to go too crazy with it because it is only the first level and we're fixing to lose all these. So it would be kind of silly to do so. All right, moving. All right. We got the little baddies right there. So far, so good get some uh... oh they're all coming in from that bottom room outstanding now there is an achievement for holding the elevator room for 60 seconds uh, I've already gotten this achievement but early levels you can usually do pretty well if you just kind of just sit here and chill you usually don't bump into anything too nasty uh, especially in a defensive position like this where they have to go through all these prods you can pretty much hold this for a good I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Unf well, not 10 minutes or so, probably two or three minutes, if you're lucky. Um, the problem is you're only going to make dust for doing this. So once you've got the achievement, there's no real reason to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and move back. I just wanted to show you that it is possible on some of those earlier levels. So you can see they're talking back and forth. She basically says he's a big bug, so he looks tasty. She eats bugs for some strange reason. And he says uh, she looks tasty too. What, you eat people? That's sick! Right, right. Says the one who enjoys eating bugs. I'm just saying it's a little weird. It's a little weird. At least in my opinion. Alright, so we have the option of going right or left. I feel good about right, so we'll go right. Oh, jeez. That is a very nasty room. Uh, hopefully we can get some dust. Alright, we're going to go ahead and slap down an industry generator. Here we go. 
And... I'm going to hold off. I kind of want to put some prods down, but... We may... Yeah, we're falling back. We'll fight him in here. I'll go ahead and put some prods down. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and fill the room up. I got a feeling we're going to be holding this room uh, rather extensively. All right, we're going to open this door up real quick. I'm going to try and just spawn as many monsters as we can. Hey! We got a robot! I like robots. Thank you for joining our team, sir. Fall back to our defensive position here, my friend. Now, let's see if we can spawn a few monsters. I know we've got the dust to open this up, but I'm trying to get some, some dust farming going on. And we we are failing miserably to get the dust farming. Uh, suppressive firebots. Um, I'm not really too worried about that. I wouldn't mind the energy generator. Uh, let's see. Do I want to keep going down? I think I want to hold. I don't want to go too far. So we're going to go north. We're going to go north. Then we can fall back. Fall back. Does he have an ability? Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Meant for you to come home after doing that, sweetie. Uh, we have 42 research now. Yeah, we're gonna keep... Well, the claymores could work. Does high damage to enemies in the room. Priority target-based monster. Basically, it hurts. I think it hurts... Oh, it only hurts monsters. It doesn't hurt people. It's the other one that hurts everybody. Claymores... I've never actually used claymores, but they do high damage and they do it to groups i like the sound of that let's go ahead and pick that up how how bad can it be how bad can it be we're gonna go ahead and open that door and then we'll fall back all right fall back no critters really i'm really starting to get offended here i'm starting to think like the critters don't like me well i mean like they maybe they like me too much oh well there's one whoa dude I didn't... Apparently we do have some critters. I just didn't know about it. You can see she hasn't healed yet. So we got some more stuff coming. Not quite sure how I missed those, but fair enough. All right. Um, we don't get the prisoner or the claymore for a minute. So... Um, how far do I want to move? Let's go ahead and put an uh, industry generator right here. Okay. And we're going to send her over here to open this door. Dead end. Perfect. Any monsters in there? Oh, and it lights on its own. That is absolutely perfect, actually. Um, all right, we'll go down here and open this one. We don't really need this one, so if, you know, worst case scenario, they come in and decide to crystal rape it, then we can live. We can deal. Uh, claim one mine unlocked. And rapier added to inventory. All right, pulling her back on the off chance that we get something nasty. All right, let's look through our inventory. Uh, who uses swords? He uses spears. She doesn't use anything. And he... <laughs> everyone uses spears. Outstanding! Got this amazing weapon and everybody's like, fuck that. I'm not going to use that thing. You guys are hurting my feelings here. All right, um, let's go ahead and go for a food generator. That way... Oh, we don't have enough. Never mind. I take that back. This guy makes me... That looks like a cross on his head. It makes me, for some reason, think he's a medic. Oh, he is. He's a robot medic. Technically. All right. Fair enough. Uh, let's try out a couple of these claymores. I want to see how well they do. So we're going to put two of them in this room. And I just want to see how much damage they do. Um, they're supposed to be pretty damn good on groups of monsters. So we're going to open this area up down here. And we'll open this door. We'll leave these two guys there to hold in case they need it. And we are going to go ahead and immediately open this door to the south. And then we'll run her back up. Go, 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 go. That may have been crazy. That may have been crazy. All right, here we go. Holding the line. Gonna pull her back. All right, there we go. Wow. Claymore's kind of rocked it. Ooh, that got a little hinky there towards the end. Uh, all right, so we have a food table down here that we were gonna want to get. Come down there real quick and pick that up. Nom, 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 nom. Plus 10. All right. Um, we're not quite ready for the next food setup. Still haven't found the exit. Um, I don't want to go across here because then we'd have to deal with 
leaving uh, two attack fronts, and I'd really rather not have two attack fronts. Uh, we are going to go ahead and build a couple more Claymore Mines, just because I, I like them. They've grown on me. Kind of like herpes. Um, not that herpes grows on me. No, I'm... We're just going to pretend I didn't say that. Okay, let's come all the way up here and open this. Let's see what we got. Alright, bug lady. Nothing in there. Not detecting any hostilities. So we'll go ahead and open this door. Why not? Alright, time to evac, evac, evac. Ah, oh, there we go. Got some monsters coming through now. Wowzers. Yeah! Claymores! Um, pretty solid. So we have... There it is. I was wondering where that other guy was. I was like, I know we got another monster coming through. Is that it? That's it. Heard the little sound. Uh, Dustfield Gen. Eh. Prisoner Prod. Maybe. Tear Gas. Supplies damage. No, I don't really care about Tear Gas. So, do we want the Prisoner Prod? I kind of want the Shop. Shop is a really good item to have, supposedly. Uh, let's go ahead and open that one up so we don't have to worry about it. And I guess we'll come all the way up here and we'll open this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and build a couple more prisoner prods. There we go. Wait. Damn it. I guess it would help if I clicked it right, huh? There we go. Well, there's the exit. So far, so good. Uh... Alright, pull her out. In fact, let's pull everybody out. We're going to go across, uh, and then we'll fall back to this room if we have to. So let's go. Open the door. Oh, shit. And I can't leave this room, because... There we go. That works. Done. A little disappointed that they chose not to attack from over here, especially since we've invested so heavily in the defense of those rooms. Uh, all right, let's do that. Bam. We're just gonna put one in. Now let's open this door. Last door of the dungeon. Outstanding. Fall back. There we go. Whoa! 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 Cletus! Whoa! Damn! Try not to get owned, sir. Does make it rather challenging for me to defend you. Holy shit. What, did they destroy the claymore? How did that one guy get through unscathed? Dude, these guys are just gonna get tooled. Alright, um... So we're going to drop this and drop this, and then we're going to pick up this, and we're going to pick up that. We need to get to that room up there, which means we don't need you. Uh, we'll put that up here. Probably should light that room up, so let's go ahead and drop that one. And we'll pick that one up here. All right, perfect. Let's see, who's our fastest runner still? Uh, you are at 36, you are at 43, and you are at 34. All right, so... That means we're going to send everybody up here, with the exception of you, madam. You're going to stay here. All right, let's go ahead and pick up that crystal and GTFO. Kind of want to see how these turrets handle these things. Manhandle, hopefully. Manhandle, that's what I'm hoping for. Does she make it? Perfect. Just gonna watch for a minute and kind of enjoy my, my, my turret setup. I paid good money for these! Good American dollars! Damn, dude. Those claymores? Holy shit. They get the job done, don't they? I can't believe I've never used them before! I totally should've used them more. God dang! If only I got resources of some kind other than, than, than power for doing these. Look at that. That is it. Holy shit, dude. They handle hordes of monsters like it ain't nobody's business. Come at me, bro. Damn. Oh, first branch is making it through. Well played, sir. Good god, dude. 
Claymore is getting it done. Jeez. Gotta be careful not to focus too much on the distraction down here. Sorry. Sorry, I'm, I'm having a little fun here. Oh, they're getting through now. They're getting through. We're leaving. <laughs> they finally overran my badass Claymores. He says, Tis a matter of perspective. No. Who eats whom? Well, still seems weird eating people. Yet, all's fair in love and war, as they say, and we love you as the spoils of war. Uh, okay. Never heard that one. You almost make it sound nice. Alrighty. Very strange, very strange. Alright. What's this floor gonna look like? Oh, jeez. And we haven't really gotten any good research done either. I am... Not feeling too good about this run. I have a feeling we're gonna we're gonna die a horrible, horrible death. Possibly multiple hor horribles of deaths at once. Okay, what's next? Uh, how much? I want thirty. All right, that's fine. Go into the next room. There we go. We got thirty. Uh, is that room activated? Nope. Okay. Uh, let's give it a shot. What the hell? Really? Nothing? You're a dick. You are a big, hairy dick. It's just rude. Just rude. Alright, we're through that room. Let's pop another one open. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get lucky on the resources this time. Well, that guy just did not want to die, did he? Damn. All right, let's go north. Come on, give me some more dust. Or nothing. Nothing apparently works. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god, I missed that son of a bitch. Oh, that sucks. That's gonna cost us. How did I miss that guy? <sighs> Not a single dust for clearing those guys. Son of a bitch. Alright, open the door and then fall back. Whoa! Let's do business. So much more fun than investment. Alright, blah 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 blah. So that's good. I know we can't get a spawn there, so I don't have to worry about this room spawning. Uh, so we're going to deactivate this room, activate that one. Now I don't have to worry about that room spawning. Uh, we are going to need some more industry generation, so we'll go ahead and drop that there. I'm going to kick us up a little bit. I'm going to keep one guy in here. I know they can't spawn in here, but I still need to keep a dude in this room. Can this guy activate mega modules? Or is it just small modules? He can repair damage modules. Okay. Uh, working on unlocking him, too. So we need to do two more floors with him beforehand. Okay, so we've got 25, 36, 36. Um, yeah, let's do that one. And then... Wow, her DPS goes up pretty high. He unlocks another ability, though. Uh, we're going with the ability. Is that the major modules? Yes. Good, 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 good. Okay, so the nice thing that we can do with this... Um, I'll have to show you guys here in a second. We can probably use it with one of the later rooms. I'm not going to be able to use it with this one, but I'll show you here in a minute. Um, there's a trick we can use to operate major modules without having to lose the power. I'll show you guys here just a sec, and I, it should work. I've been formed on the website that it works. We'll find out as, as long as it hasn't been patched. It'd be kind of mean if it was patched. I would cry a little. Kill that guy. Perfect, good, good, good. Okay, we still don't have enough for another module, do we? No. So basically the way it works is, uh, for those of you guys who haven't watched the previous episode, if you can operate a mega module, which this guy can, or a major module, uh, if this guy stays in a, in a turn in a room like this, he increases the operating of those. Well, usually I was keeping the power on in that room. You don't have to, because as long as the guy's in there and you wait for the tech, you can uh, depower the room and still keep the bonus, which is nice, because you basically get get extra dust that way it gives you 10 extra dust more or less so kind of like in that um all right we're gonna put him here and we're gonna move her up to there i need to be able to get some defenses going up in here soon or we're gonna be in some trouble yeah fall back nothing there 
Okay. So we can only have spawns in these two rooms. I could still get pretty hairy. Ah, yep, fall back. Uh, we need to move everybody into this room. Oh my god. Things are about to get nasty. Move. I gotta kill this guy. Hopefully they don't kill the merchant. Please don't kill the merchant. Holy crap. All right, I need a damage increase. There we go. Blow it. God, dude. There's like a shit ton of crystals there, bro. Damn. All right, so let's light this one up. Now we have enough. Uh, I'm still going to need more industry, so we're going to put industry down. Now you're going to watch this guy right here. See how he's working on it now? So what we're going to do is we're going to leave him here. we got to move everybody else. So I'm going to make a focus group with these two. So one and two. We're going to make them control one. Uh, thanks to uh, one of you guys who pointed that out. Makes you awesome. Now the problem we're going to run into is I can shut this room off after this turn and still gain the benefit, supposedly. But then I can't light this room up, which is the whole point. So it's really not going to do us any good, but I'm going to show you guys a trick anyway for those of you guys who play this game and we're looking for a little, little extra advantage. Open that up. Okay. So you can see we're at 19 now. Uh, I'm going to make sure there's no monsters coming real quick. So we're at 19 now. I should be able to deactivate this room and keep it, according to the forums. Nope. Apparently they fixed it. Uh, wow, that's interesting. But I don't lose it. Oh, okay. So it does give me an extra setup to, uh, to kind of play around with, though, if I need to. Which is kind of cool. Which is kind of cool. All right, um, we're gonna have a lot of monsters coming this way. That's the exit, so it doesn't hurt to fortify this room. So we're gonna fortify this room here. That's two of those. And then we're gonna run this chick. Well, actually we can run them both. Yeah, let's run, let's run them both up north. Fall back. I like how he's got a little dog. That just kind of cracks me up. go come on now all right we're secure uh so we have an exit here and we have one there this is gonna get hinky it's gonna get very hinky all right so we're gonna do some more defenses up here uh boom boom not enough ah damn it we're one shy uh okay so we got a sword and an uzi here um, he uses spears. He uses spears. Uh, no, nobody uses Uzis. So we're going to sell these two things to this guy because we can't use either of them. There we go. And there we go. All right. What do you got that I might want? Uh, absolutely fucking nothing. Maybe the guard uniform? That's a plus 100 hit points. Do we have anybody that's obsessively low on hit points? Whoops. Um, let's see. You have 590, you have 394, and you have 530. So she's the only one that kind of needs it, but it'll lower her speed a little bit, but that's fine. That's fine. It's better than nothing. And it'll give her an extra 100 hit points, which we do kind of need. Okay. Um, and there's no more rooms up here to open. That's a negative. All right, shit. All right, so I have to pull them both back here. Uh, we're going to try and hold this room with just those. We'll open the door. As soon as the door is open, pausing. And we're going to build another claymore up here. There we go. Is there any baddies in this room? That's a negative. Okay. They ate the food. Falling back. All right. Let's blow that. What about you? This just uh, reduces their speed. That's actually probably a good thing. That way they can't get through the room. All right, we're fine. Wow, did you see how slow he went when he got in there? Damn! That was hateful. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, um, so we're gonna go ahead and light this room up. That's just gonna keep more things from not spawning in this general direction, which is a good thing. And we're gonna keep moving these guys down here. I think these claymores are gonna probably hold up okay. Don't waste dust or loot, just bugs. Amen to that, sister. All right, fall back. Probably gonna have some baddies up here. No? All right then. This is gonna be scary. 
Uh, do we want to build anything else? Let's build some food gens. I kind of want some food. There we go. Alright, let's open the door. Oh wow, we have a lot down here. Hopefully we get some dust. Thank you, but not quite enough! Damn! Attack power, 1.8. Heroes on the floor, attack power, 0.5. Wow! So 1.8 damage multiply multiplier. That's almost two times damage on my uh, freaking freaking claymores up here. And these things already do. How much damage do these things do by base? Five? Eh, I guess that's not amazing, but five times an area of effect with the two cooldowns. So that's I guess that's not too bad. Of course, I don't know what zone damage power means. That. Seems to maybe be a multiplier. Pff, I don't know. Fuck it. All right. Let's move uh, our squad into here. Oh, shit. You need to stay here. Please don't. Okay, we're good. Oh, shit. Web them and strike them. Okay, now they can't move. God dang it. Oh, shit. He's getting fucking worked. Oh, oh, we're about to be in some shit. All right, pull everybody back to here. Is he moving or no? Yeah, he's moving. Okay. God dang, man. All right, move up in here. Tag him. Wait. Oh, fuck! Oh, damn it. What's this do? All right, do it. We've lost 10 power. This is bad. Yeah, this is gonna suck. Oh, we're losing power. Oh, God dang it! I was so focused on the power! I didn't know... To oh, damn it. He was the one I needed to keep alive, too. Yeah, shit just went sideways. Oh, man. This is bad. Dude, you guys suck on damage. You guys are fucking awful. Fucking awful. Alright, close this. Screw this place. We are out of here. You guys are horrible people. I despise you. I am ashamed to have been fighting with you folks, my friends. Well, I guess you're not my friends. Bunch of bastages. Alright, pull her down here. No, no, no. Come on down. Open that. Go pick that up. Get the hell out of here. Oh, man. Okay. Go, go, go. Fall back with her. Alright, no reason to hang out. We're just gonna get the hell out of here. Damn it to hell, man. <sighs> Though I gotta say, those limbs you got look nice and crunchy. You may find the steel that bars your way somewhat less palatable. Yeah, I'm no idiot. But I can trust and trim you before you could say, EGAD! Ha ha ha, I almost regret how much I'll enjoy broiling your s Broilingly you- Broilingly- Broiling you slowly with carrots. God dang. Why do I have such a hard time with the word broiling? It's not like it's a difficult word. Jesus Christ. Well, that last floor could have gone a lot better. Um, we have had a, we, we've had an absolutely horrible time with research. We're halfway through the dungeon basically, and we haven't gotten, we haven't gotten a single research done really, except for claymores. Um, good news is we do have a lot of research left. Uh, bad news is we're also down a person, so we're in, we're in probably a bad position here. Things, things could go sideways pretty pretty easily we need to find some research um uh, another person perfect and she's a healer even better perfect if we can find another one we will be sitting pretty again wow she's only level one what the hell all right we're good but whoa sorry like these rooms up um we're gonna do some food. We're gonna do some food, and the next one we'll do industry again. All right, moving up. 
Whoop. Move on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's both get rich, or at least me, anyways. Uh huh. What do you got on you? What are you buying? Oh, you're using. Good. Good, good, good. All right. The nice thing about this is at the end of the round, I can come and buy everything he has. And because you can't take dust with you. So that's actually good. I am kind of excited about that. That that makes my my cold dead heart happy. My cold dead heart my cold dead heart is is overjoyed. Uh we'll go ahead and research the ship the this module. Might as well. Can't hurt us. Alright, um we're gonna just use her to go north. And we'll drop her back. Uh there's the exit. Wow, that was quick. Open that one. Okay, fall back. Okay, webbing. Uh, you need to blow... Oh, she doesn't have it yet. Fuck me. There you go. Now you got it. Blow it. Eat. Uh, you've got that. Go ahead and blow that as well. What are you doing? Did we kill him before he left? Yes? No? God, man. I have like the worst DPS characters ever. These guys suck. I don't know how you do so little DPS. Well, I mean, I guess it's because we haven't gotten them a single piece of gear this whole fucking game. Not that I'm bitter or anything. Okay, so we need to chop down on the number of these that we're experiencing. So we're going to go this way. This way we only have a po maximum possibility of two rooms. Uh, we should be able to deal with that. All right, drop down. Shop unlocked. Perfect. All right, let's go open this up real quick. Light that on. What do we get? A letter opener. Um, it's a sword, which we only have spear users. So, yay. Uh, good news is I can sell it uh, to this guy over here, though, for dust, which is nice because we don't have a sword user, so we have no need for it. Let's go ahead and sell. Wow, you're only going to give me three for it? Right. I think I'm too generous. You know, you can die in a fire, sir. You can die in a fire. Okay. Um, shit. Alright, I'm going to put her there. Put put him here. And then uh, we'll move her. Gives us only one nasty room possibility. Perfect. And it's lit. That's even better. Um... Trying to decide if I want science or if I want another. <sighs> we need to level our people up. They are very low. But well, let's do food. We don't really. Well, let's see what's let's see what's in science first. How about that? That's the smartest option. Let's see what actually science has to, to offer us. Tactical HUD. Oh, buy this one. We need need that hands down. Um, and that's probably all we're going to really have time for. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and buy the shop just for shits and giggles. Uh, we might, that's going to teleport the merchant there. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, and then what I can actually do is I could actually turn that off, but I don't think I will. All right. Uh, put you here and we're going to have to run her out, uh, up here. How many is this? Three? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Fall back. That's eight. Uh, fall back to here. Bring everybody in. Pause. Defensives. Claymores. That's 22. Yeah, we can do that. All right. All right, we're good. Via good, yeah. Okay. Uh, we've also got an extra dust, which I can use to light up this room, which is probably smartest. Uh, where's our next exit point? We gotta come all the way back here, really? Fuck. All right, we'll put... Oh, we'll put... That's interesting. I can't actually target that guy anymore. All right, so we're going to put him here. 
We'll put her here. We'll put you back here. And then I'm going to put one Claymore in the room with her. Uh, and then she's going to have to basically kind of just deal with uh, the rest of the stuff. At least until we get a beachhead. We need a little bit more dust. I'm hoping this guy will generate some for us, but... Maybe not. Oh, thank God! Never seen this person. Uh, actually, no, I have seen her. I've never, I've never fought with her before. All right, so we're going to go ahead and light that up. We're going to leave this one here. Uh, we're going to pull both of these guys back to here. Uh, so she only really has to hold technically two rooms. Um, if we have to, we can fall back to here. Okay. And we just need one more turn and then we can recruit her. So we'll just do this real fast. It's going to open that room up. Fall back. No, no. Okay. Recruit. Perfect. What is she? Uh, she is a machine gunner. She has mediocre hit points. Um, she can repair minor modules. Uh, she has a self attack power buff. Uh, Reiko was originally known as a knee copper for her ability to bring a computer system to its knees. However, as cigarettes were illegal on the ship, she ended up extending her meager supply by mixing in anything that burned. The result of six months smoking a mixture of tobacco, paper, rat droppings, toothpicks, and coffee grounds gave her a cough that sounds like the devil calling your name. Nice. So that's, that's, that's wonderful. We've got, uh, Marge Simpson sisters here. Perfect. Just what I've always wanted. Uh, fall back one room. I said fall back one room, bitches. Retreat. We'll hold in here. Okay, got another one coming. Or not. Alright, so we are one dust away from having a nice new room. Fuck. Um. Yeah, we really need some more food. Like, like bad uh, don't have enough to get any. Could build another shop, which would produce more dust, but we've only got one merchant, so it wouldn't really do us any good. So we need to fortify this position right here. Uh, I hate to do this, but we're going to kind of have to. There we go. All right, so we're going to put him here. We'll put... Actually, no, we're going to put him here. Then we're going to put her here, and then we'll use the spider to open these doors. And that'll keep us down to basically one room of hostilities. There's seven. All right, are we clear over here? No, we are not. Okay. Fall back. All right, moving everybody. There we go. Clear. Perfect. All right, so now we put her in this room, and we will have nothing spawning over here anymore. Uh, and then everybody else. So we got one, two, three. We'll do shift four, and we're going to make that control one. So we'll move control one over here. Perfect. Okay, so now I need a person in this room. I need a person in this room. And then we're going to go ahead and have the spider open this door here. That leaves us possible two rooms opening. Which is still pretty nasty, but oh my god, fall back. Alright, pausing. Um, well, shit. Is that all we got in here? Yeah. I don't think we have anything up there. Oh, that's right, because she has that room locked. Um, okay. We are going to be fighting in here. Actually, I should probably cancel that for a suppressor now that I think about it. Uh, we'll just have to make do. Alright, I want you to blow that. What do you have? You have absolutely nothing. Okay, that makes you very useless. Alright. Alright, more coming. There we go. That might have been a bit of an overreach. Probably didn't need to blow all that, but... Better safe than sorry, right? Okay, so four. Uh, and then we need one and then two. Uh, I think actually this is a dead end now, isn't it? Yep, 
So we basically have to come back here and open this room. Yay! So we'll just open the spider. We'll just have the spider do it. And then I can pull the other three back if I need it. And of course it's a dead end. Outstanding. Uh, fall him back. Whoa, dude, that tore him up. Holy shit. Move you out. Now we'll move you back in. Is he really getting all the way through? Seriously? What a shithead! What a shithead! That was good. Oh man. Oh, Nano Bros. I like Nano Bros. Nano Bros sound badass. Okay. Uh, hmm. Wow, we really don't have any rooms we can deactivate, do we? <laughs> so I got two other areas that we can go through, but things are going to get too hairy with this whole area exposed like this. Uh, I'm going to bring everybody back here. Uh, we're going to set them up over here. Looks like our two fastest, Spider and the Insect. So Insect, uh, we're going to put you as Control 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, Insect, you are going to be camping out over here. Um, and we did get an item, so let's let's look at this item, see what we got. All right, what does this item do? Uh, HP regen. Those helpful microscopic creatures will repair your body and the best wingman around. Uh, probably good to put that on this guy, because he seems to be the one that takes the most damage for us. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so second fastest person. Well, I mean first, first fastest person's going there. Uh, you're gonna hold that room there. Uh, yeah, we should be good. We should be good. All right, so here's what we're going to be doing. With this, we're going to be grabbing the crystal and evacing with the spider. As soon as she starts evacing, I'm going to start deactivating these rooms, and we're going to buy everything off this dick bag. Um, okay, this should be rather exciting. No, damn it. No, no, you stay there. You're too slow. I meant you. Sorry. My apologies. Okay. You are going to run right here. Go. Go, go, go. Oh, two doors just opened up. Not good. Run, sir. Madam. All right. We'll wait till she's almost in the room before I deactivate all this. Uh, she's in the room. Perfect. Okay. Need to pull you back. Okay. You. Uh, I guess we have to deactivate everything, huh? So we'll just deactivate... Uh, well, I guess we have to deactivate everything from out here, huh? Okay. Why can't I deactivate? Oh, no. Once it's done, you can't de- Oh, yeah, I can. I can still do it right here, can't I? Okay. So. Uh, she's a machine gunner, right? So definitely want the machine gun. So we'll put that on you. Perfect. Uh, we don't have a swords girl, so I don't really need the sword. What's the whistle do? Uh, causes monster just to fall down and grain, grab ankles and cry. That sounds actually pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to put that on you. There we go. Uh, what does the power suit do? Defense 30. A set of blue exoskeleton armor with unknown... Well, you know what? We'll put it on you. Why not? All right. So that leaves us with the kitchen gloves. What do they do? Attack power plus 14. Don't laugh. These were made for working with fire blades and blood objects. Uh, who's got our best DPS? Sadly, she does. All right. Put them on her. And I don't have anybody. Can I just buy this? Yeah, sure can. Okay. Things are about to get really hinky. Because this poor son of a bitch is now trapped apart. He has to get back by himself through the darkness. Which he... Oh my god, he may not make it. Get out! Okay, Scrog, here's the deal. We both want to get out of here, yeah? Yeah imperative tender one the sooner we do it the sooner we find out who's the meal and who's the chef <laughs> excellent let us depart with this uh, i don't even know what that word is with alacrity then see who's for dinner secrets unlocked and biographies yes completed their storyline 
outstanding. I have no idea what that does, but both of them are now glowing green. So either they both have a really bad fungal infection or they were exposed to radiation or they've unlocked some kind of cool feature. Hopefully that means they like each other and maybe we'll get a bonus. That would be really nice. Uh, I'm not sure, but that is going to wrap up this video, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. If you do, please slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.